super simple way to know that the pressure is dropping and that there's a very high chance of rain. Hi, Kathy here. Today I want to talk about this Galileo weather station. It's what we use off-grid up here in the Adirondacks to be able to predict the weather with a pretty high rate of accuracy. You have two parts to this Galileo weather station. You have the temperature, and this is just basically a fluid with these little floating balls of colored liquid. And based on density differences, which temperature has an effect on density, different ones will be floating. So the lowest floating ball tells you what the temperature is, so about. So this says it right now that it's 75 degrees out. And this is a barometer, and a barometer measures air pressure. Air pressure is pushing down on the surface of the Earth. And sometimes there's more pushing, and sometimes there's less pushing. Low pressure is a lousy low. That means it's bad weather, it's going to rain. It literally means that there is a front moving over us. And when a front is moving over, that is when we get precipitation. If it's below 32 degrees, it'll be snow. If it's above 32 degrees, give or take, it'll be rain. So at 75 degree temperature, we now have a very low pressure system. And the way that you can tell with this this is a closed system, and the only opening is here at the top. So if it's high pressure, the air pushes it down into that arm, and it'll be higher inside this bulb. If it's low pressure, it's not pushing on it, and it allows the liquid, the colored liquid, to rise up. And sometimes it's so low, it literally leaks out and all over the place. Now, you do have to fill this periodically because of evaporation and other things, eventually um, you do have to replace the liquid, but it's extremely accurate. Boy, oh boy, was that barometer correct? That simple Galileo barometer. It is coming down. Nice to have this screen porch here, huh? Yeah, it's nice to watch the rain. And the rain is nice. It's cooling it's the air down, too. Before it was 75, now it's at 72. Definitely cooled down. And still shows low pressure. I don't know if you can see, but we're all flooded all around our camper. I don't want to go out there. Holy, holy, holy. Wow, that's how loud the rain is. 80 decibels. Well, good morning and welcome to a happy high. And that is what we call a beautiful day. And you can see on the Galileo barometer that this is high pressure. The higher the pressure, the more it pushes down through the arm and into the bulb. And there's absolutely no liquid in the arm, so we know we have a nice high pressure system today. I looked it up, it was like 30.2 inches of mercury. And our temperature is currently 68 degrees. And again, remember, that doesn't mean it is actually 68 degrees. It's somewhere between 68 and I think 65 is what the one is on the bottom. So it's a nice crisp morning, nice and cool. High pressure systems tend to be a little cooler than low pressure systems. And when I say cool, I don't mean cold. I just mean by a few degrees. And you can look at the sky. It's so crisp, clear blue sky. Uh, not a cloud in sight, a gorgeous day. So that Galileo barometer really does a great job. It's very accurate right to the minute. So it's even better than just looking something up online. Beautiful high pressure day and we are really excited because we're gonna get out there and clear some ATV trails. For under $30, a Galileo barometer is a really great, simple, off-grid DIY weather station which predicts whether or not it's going to rain on the homestead. So I'm Kathy. And I'm Rich. 
and we're creating a simpler life in the Adirondacks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.